Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use Cube Explorer. To start, just search up Cube Explorer on Google and click on the first link. This is Cube Explorer's official website, kosiemba.org. It's safe to download from, so you just go to download and get it. It's currently on version 5.14, so download that and open it. When you download it, you'll see that you actually have two types. You have Cube 514 HTM, like that. And you also have QTM. HTM stands for half turn metric and is the more optimized one, and QTM is quarter turn metric, which basically means that U2 would be written as UU or U prime U prime. HTM is definitely a lot better, so use that one. So when you open Cube Explorer, you have this. Your cube is over here, and then cubes out and algorithms will be listed on this side. Say you wanted to find an algorithm for a T perm. You can left click on the center, it has to be in the center to select the color, and then you can left click uh, somewhere else to place the color there. So I can, I can left click on the green and place the green here. And then you just repeat that, I'll click on the blue and place it here, click on the red and put that there, orange here, and here, and orange here. So this here is a T perm, but when you click add and solve, or add and generate, It'll only give you like one algorithm on the left side here. If you press this green play button, it'll optimize the algorithm until it can't be optimized anymore, which in this case is 11 moves, but it's a terrible algorithm with B moves and everything. So if you want to list algorithms, you can right click on an edge, I prefer the down front edge, and then right clicking it will make it gray. So what that does is if you press add and generate, it'll start this. So this is basically listing all of the algorithms that can be used to solve the T perm. But if you look at a lot of these, they're bad. They have like B moves, D moves, and L moves, and stuff that you really don't want. So what you can do is over here where it says faces to exclude, we don't want B moves or D moves or L moves. So we can click on those and there's, there won't be any of those in the algorithms. So now we can just restart the generator. And if you look at this, all of these are RUF gen, and it also generates a lot quicker. We're already on depth 17 because they don't have to search through that many possible letters and moves. So yeah, this will just keep going, and I can stop it now. And once you've generated for a couple minutes, then you'll have a big list of algorithms. You can take it, then you can copy it, and paste it into a Google Docs, which I have here. So now you have all these algorithms listed in a Google Docs, and you want to find the best one. So to do that, you do Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac, and then you can look for triggers. So for example, I want the R U R prime U prime trigger, which is a sexy move, to appear, and it appears in six algorithms. So I go through all of them. This is the standard algorithm, which is really nice, but this one also has that trigger. Uh, there's a bunch of F moves here in the middle, so it's probably not that great. You want to avoid F moves easily. And there is a cluster down here, but they're like kind of long and I wouldn't want to use them. And then you can you, you can look for other triggers like R prime F, R F prime, sledgehammer. There's a couple in here with a sledgehammer as well. And then you can also get creative with how you want to use algorithms. For example, if you have something that's LU gen, you can turn it into a wide RFU gen, because those are usually a lot better. And if you have like LR next to each other, then you can turn that into an M or M prime, depending on how it looks. And yeah, that's basically how you can use Cube Explorer. Thanks for watching and goodbye.